Do you or your teenage son or daughter struggle with overwhelm? Get up in the morning and feel so anxious about the day because there's just so much going on. Do you want to learn how to overcome overwhelm and what overwhelm really is? I'm going to tell you that and so much more on today's show of Going Deeper. So welcome. Welcome to today's episode of Going Deeper with John Morris. Join the show that tackles the topics that many around the world struggle with on a day-to-day -day basis. From mental and physical health to emotional and spiritual well-being. But that's not all. John also shares his teaching on more focused topics, such as anxiety, self-image, gaining employment, the importance of educating oneself, developing a deeper spiritual connection, mental and physical well-being, and so much more. Want to be the best you can be? You're in the right place. And now please welcome Mind, Body and Soul's very own John Morris. Hey folks and welcome to another exciting episode of Going Deeper. I am your host John Morris, the psychologist in training, the philosopher, the theologist and the businessman as well. Whatever are the bits and pieces, but the most important thing is I'm here to help you get from where you are to where you want to be by step-by-step -step guidance. Today we're talking about overwhelm. Now overwhelm is a humongous thing. And especially in teenagers and adults now, it has never ever been more prevalent than it is today. First of all, folks, what is overwhelm? You know, as I've said numerous times, if you're going to know and you're going to overcome something, you've got to fully understand what it is. Overwhelm is literally having too much on your plate. Overwhelm is trying to balance 15 beach balls on your nose. Overwhelm is when you look up and you see a giant mountain of things to do. It's basically where something feels much bigger maybe than what it is, or you have far too much that you are trying to accomplish. Now, um, so when we look at that, so, so that's what overwhelm is. How is it affecting people right now? Okay, so from a psychological point of view, the increase in anxiety as of 2021 is humongous. Anxiety really is a foundational problem now because so many people are, are thinking, but they're not being taught how to think, i.e. how to use their brains. That's the first thing. The second thing is they're also not taught how to manage their day, how to manage their week, how to manage their month. Um, and if they are, they're not doing Doing it. I swear by lists, and I'm going to get to that in a moment, and why lists are so important to overcoming overwhelm and to stop you from being overwhelmed. So what's going to happen, folks, if you don't get overwhelm under control? Well, if you don't get overwhelm under control, you're going to end up with anxiety. If you don't deal with anxiety, you're going to end up probably with severe depression and a feeling of depression and a feeling of worthlessness and that your life is completely out of control. Now, this will circle round and round and round again. You will not get off the treadmill until you actually do something about it. There seems to be this myth these days that if you just bury your head in the sand, it's all going to go away. Guess what? I want to ask you a question and see what you think. Did the overwhelm just happen by itself, or did you do something or take something on to cause it? Things don't just happen by themselves. So therefore, the answer would also mean that it's not just going to sort itself by itself. Now, you could just stop doing everything. That is you choosing to do something, okay? So you must make a choice. If you are going to overcome overwhelm and you're going to stop being overwhelmed, then you're going to make a choice as to conquer overwhelm. Now, how do you do that? Well, as I said right at the beginning, I swear by lists. Today is Monday uh, when we're filming this. I think it's like the end of May or something, 2021. The sun is glorious outside. It's a really hot day. My wife is away with her family and we're filming this show. I've been cleaning the bathrooms, I've been in the gym, I've been painting, I've been finishing worktops, I've been, what else have I been doing? I've been looking after the cat, I've been hoovering, I've been cleaning uh, the bathrooms, the showers, I've been doing stuff in the garden. In total, I've actually accomplished 15 things today. Now you might say, John, oh my goodness, that's a lot of stuff to do in one day. And I would say, yes, it is. But you might also say, well, John, you know, you, you're, you, you don't seem to be overwhelmed, you don't seem to be really stressed. In fact, by your demeanor, you actually seem to be really relaxed and really calm. And I am. Now, why am I so calm and why am I so relaxed? Well, two reasons. One, I choose to be. Okay, I don't put into my head and I don't put into my line of sight anything that's going to cause me anxiety, overwhelm or stress. 
Simple as that. That's the first thing. You need to observe what you're putting into your life. Second thing is this. You must get your life in order. Because if you don't get your life in order, you are going to become... This is the lesson that the universe, that the divine spirit, that God is trying to tell you. You need to get your life in order. To get your life in order, you may think, my goodness, that's such a big job. No, it isn't. It's a small job. Tiny job. Tiny job. How do I know? Because it all starts with one thing. you got to get clear as to what's going on. So what did I do this morning? I sat down, and I do this with all the shows, by the way. I sat down this morning and I said, okay, I've got a list of things to do. And I started, you know, I, I asked myself the question, what do I want to do this week? And I just listed out 15 things that I knew needed to be done, that I knew would help Katie, that I knew would help our business, that some of the things I knew needed to be done for our business, like filming this show, um, that I knew needed to be done for our garden and for our trees and for all the other things that are there, that I knew needed to be done for the home. And I just listed them out, 15 things. First thing I did was in the gym. Second thing I did was to book the courier. Third thing I did was to fix the, the kitchen units. We've just installed uh, brand new kitchen units and covers over them, um, over the old units. By the way, that's a really great way to, to save money. But we're going to talk about that in an upcoming show, actually, all about repurposing and how repurposing can save you a fortune, whether you're a teenager, whether you're an adult. But we'll talk about that later. Um, I lost my train of thought there, didn't I? So, you know, it, it's really, really important then, you know, to list things out. Now, what would I advise for someone who's listing things out? I would advise that you don't list more than five things per day. Now, why am I saying don't list more than five things per day when I'm listing 15? I've been making lists for two decades now, and I know what I can take on, and I know simply what's going to overwhelm me. And I just got to the point where I was like, okay, I'm feeling really good, feeling full of energy, feeling lots of stuff going on. Bang, let's get this stuff done. I was going to have a day free. Katie wasn't going to be around. <laughs> it was going to be quiet in the house. I was going to like, let's go and do this. So you make lists and you start, if you're new to making lists, I would recommend starting with two or three things that are simple, like having a shower, having breakfast, and maybe, maybe cleaning the bathroom. Okay. Now, how long does the bathroom take to clean? 10, 15 minutes, depending how often you clean it. For us, it's 10 or 15 minutes um, because we don't have a particularly dirty bathroom. So, um, that's what you do. You start, and then you start with your bigger goals, okay? So it might be get in the gym. It might be fix a bath tap. Okay, if you're self-employed, it might be do some work on the website, it might be do some marketing, it might be speak to a customer. If you're in school, it might be finish that maths project, finish that English essay, finish that history um, assignment. Um, and when you start breaking things down, you actually realize, oh my gosh, I'm not actually getting overwhelmed because you can look and you can say, okay, I've got five things on Monday to do. I've got five things on Tuesday to do. Okay, don't worry about what's going on with Tuesday. You focus on what's happening on Monday and that will stop you from being overwhelmed. And it doesn't mean, because I, I have a general rule of myself, when I finish my jobs and my task, it doesn't mean then that I look at Tuesdays and I'm like, okay, let's go ahead and start doing this. No, <laughs> when I finish the tasks on Monday, it's then time to relax and then time to chill. Maybe time to study. If you're if you me, I love to study. I love to study all the time. Um, I think I'm, in, I'm nearly at 200 books that I've listened to um, since the middle of January. And we're now in May. And I just, I read with my ears because I have visual dyslexia, so I struggle reading. But I can listen all the time. And I can do that while I'm doing other things. So it is really important that you make lists. This will stop you from being overwhelmed. So for example, here. If you've got an assignment that's due or you've got a busy uh, business meeting that's going to come up and you know you've got three weeks to do it, three weeks is plenty of time. It's what, 21 days? 21 days is three weeks. And that's if you do it every single day. And if you've got a busy assignment, you could say, right, how long is this assignment going to take me to do? And this works if, you, if you're a mature student as well. How long is this assignment going to take me to do? And it may take you 15 hours to do. Right, okay, 5, 10, 15, 50, 5 hours per week. Okay, you could do 1 hour per day. Monday through Friday, take Saturday, Sunday off. And you could do that quite easily in 3 weeks. That simple. It stops you from getting overwhelmed. It means you're taking back control of your life. It means as well that you're not cramming everything in at the last minute. Because remember this, an education should be not where you are 
trying to just pass for a grade so as you can get someone to tick a box to say, well, he or she knows enough um, so as they, they can be qualified for this. No, an education should be where you are developing your acquisition of information. Did you like that? An education should be where you are developing your acquisition, your hunger for information. Whether you pass or fail, it doesn't matter. What matters is the information you learn and the person that you become. And when you do that, that is what education is all about, my friend. Anyway, that's a topic for a different time. But I hope that really helps you today. So start making lists. The power of making lists will literally change your life. It'll stop you from being overwhelmed. And if your teenagers are struggling with overwhelm and anxiety and all these other things, that could be one of the biggest contributing factors because they feel so overwhelmed. And when you feel overwhelmed, you ain't thinking clearly. There are a number of reasons why you could feel overwhelmed or not thinking clearly, diet being one of them. Um, but the other one is sometimes what we allow to happen in our lives. Remember, five things per day. If you're new at this, you can even do three things per day. If you're feeling particularly tired and worn out, three things per day will work. You know, and it'll start you getting progressive, it'll start your motivation flowing, and it'll help you more than you can even imagine. And on that note, that's all we've got time for in this episode of Going Deep. But don't forget, as always, to like, share, and subscribe. Tell a friend because it could be the very thing that helps them in their hour of darkness and their time of need. Watch this with your grandson, with your granddaughter, with your children, and hopefully watch it yourself. Make some notes and start implementing what we're talking about. And of course, if you need and you want um, special help, you know, you're saying to yourself, well, John, that sounds really good, but I'm just not certain I can be accountable in doing this and I need some help. Get in touch with me directly at thebattleswealface.com forward slash personal development coaching. I know it's a bit of a mouthful, so I've actually put the link in the chat bar and the captions bar underneath. You just click that link, you'll come straight through to my personal development coaching practice and you can get in touch with me and you can have me coach you directly, one-on-one. -on -one. I've only got a few limited spaces, but I'm happy to help you guys. And who knows, we can also, if, if there's enough people, we'll end up putting together a, uh, a group coaching session where you've not only got my support and my teaching, but also where you've got teaching and support from other people as well, and that's vital. So guys, have an amazing day. Take care, God bless. Don't forget to join us same time, same place next week. And if you want to support as you can do on patreon.com forward slash mindbodyandsoul, we would be so happy for you to support the show and, uh, and help us with all our... Um, tuition and teaching and education that we're giving out not only to you guys but to so many people around the world as well. Have a phenomenal day. Take care. Do you, your son or daughter, struggle with direction, clarity and purpose? Maybe you struggle with anxiety. Maybe you struggle with self-esteem or confidence issues. Maybe you've got great ideas but you've no idea how to get from where you are to where you want to be. Don't worry, you're not alone. People around the world struggle with these issues. Hi there, I'm John Morris. I'm the coach to the creative mind and I'm also a psychologist in training. For the last two decades, I've worked with people from all walks of life and all over the world, all with a wide variety of issues. I've worked with people from youth groups to adult education to people dealing with day-to-day -day living issues. And each one of them has an amazing story to tell and we've helped them get clear as to where they are and clear as to where they want to be. And I want to help you too. Like a lot of life coaches and therapists that like to drag things on and leave you dangling on the carrot, I want to make sure that each and every single time that we meet and have a life coaching session together, that you never ever leave saying, man, that was a waste of time, or I didn't get the value that I desired. I am committed to making sure that each and every single time we meet, you are one step closer by the time we finish to a goal that you have in mind. So why should you work with me? Well, let me tell you, as I said, I'm committed to making sure that I provide value, that I provide something that's step by step and easy to follow. I'm also a fantastic listener. I've been blessed with the gift of listening and I love to listen to people, their stories, their, their dreams, their desires, because there's nothing more energetic and passionate to me than when a client gets their first desire or they get that goal or they hit that big target or whatever it might be. And also, as a trifecta, I am committed to you to helping you take action. So whether or not it be deciding on the university you want to go to, deciding on the course that you want to be at, helping you get excited and passionate about your work environment, whatever it might be, 
I am committed to helping that happen. I'm also committed, if you need to shed some pounds, if you need to gain some muscle mass, if you need to, I don't know, develop your self-esteem, I'm committed to helping you take action and following a step-by-step -step plan of action that we can put together. But now, folks, I want to tell you about the Early Bird Special Offer that we are launching right now. It is for 10 people and 10 people alone. That's right, if you are interested in having life coaching sessions with me one-on-one, -on -one, 10 people have the opportunity to do that and we're looking to help these people change their lives completely. We take ages 14 and upwards, so if you're interested in learning how to get from where you are to where you want to be, to really develop that passion, to live a life that you enjoy as opposed to a life that you wake up and think, ah, oh, you know, how to develop and change your mindset from maybe a negative one to a positive one, understanding what fuels your mindset and understanding what creates the kind of life that you want to live, then get in touch with me today I would love to hear from you as I say this is open only for 10 people and once it's done it's done so click that box below get in touch let's have a conversation backwards and forwards and see if we're a fit for each other and I look forward to working with you have an amazing day folks take care God bless and I will see you soon